All right, so this is gonna be a tier list for Anime Adventures Update 5 Part 1. Since there are two parts, there's gonna be more units, but for right now, let's go update it with the other four. All right, so let's just get started. Um, the first one we got Uryu. Honestly, Uryu is definitely still meta as a hill unit, so I'll put him up here. Um, probably one of the better hill units right now. I think Miriam beats him just because of the fact that he is hybrid. But if you want just a full-on hill unit that does straight concentrated damage, Uryu is a guy. Um, Kite height. I don't know why I said that so well. Um, Kite. I don't know if he's meta. Honestly, he's really good. But the fact that he switches kind of like you know it's unique, but it kind of like breaks it up just because of the fact that you know you might land on a, an attack that you don't want at that time, and you can only place three of these guys down so it's a little annoying but he's still pretty good though he is unlimited now so if you, if you didn't already get him r.i.p eto honestly kind of fell off a tier uh the ability is kind of not the best right now um because I mean, you will have units that will steal the kill from her and i'm pretty sure if somebody steals the kill she won't get the buff from the plus six damage so i'll just put her a tier just because she still does decent damage and has massive aoe but that sba is a little hot now for aizen honestly i don't know i don't know what i it's like it kind of situational right? it's situational for this guy he could be meta just because you know people could use him for leaderboard runs and to stop units from entering the base but at the same time i don't see people really doing that and honestly he's not that really great for you know dps so i guess i'll put him at the end of s here because he's still decently good start of course meta definitely meta bro this man is an absolute menace still has massive range still has massive damage and uh you know summons that wolf that does like 33 percent of his damage just pretty nuts pretty nuts for a unit that came out like two updates ago uh arima honestly arima is definitely still meta although there are other units that pass him now i still do think that he still has good damage still good damage still scales pretty well for right now and um get him if you already have him but if you have one of the newer damaging units which you'll see in the end basically of the tier list you could probably get those ones in the front for now um blue devil honestly blue devil is just here to be here i'll put him on b tier fire fist uh, all, all of these limited like for, for the events are honestly kind of trash not until like the last three updates at least these guys i'm gonna just put them up here all of these guys are dookie all right next up we got your boy netero honestly netero is still an amazing damage dealer he has a pretty big aoe plus that 40 plus damage is doing really nice right now although there are units that are kind of passing that right now just like you know guild darts and other ones so uh i do still think he's meta but i don't think he'll be as useful as maybe uryu for right now since hill is really needed uh speaking of hill we got miriam miriam is definitely better than all these guys in my opinion just for generality you know he's got decently good aoe he has an insane range for his you know type and he has pretty good damage up into the 20 thousands which is pretty good uh, especially for his spa which is around five seconds when maxed out so that's really really nice so i do recommend getting miriam over uryu right now just because like i said generally he could be used for killing ground and air and uh he's much more reliable in terms of taking out more units though the same argument can be said for uryu since he can't place more of them and he does concentrated damage with critical but that's besides the point now uh, i'm gonna leave the legendaries here for now just because uh this area is for non-mythics and i already have all these units here so i'll get rid of them first uh so next up we got killua killua i can see killua being a meta just because his stun is really really good and his damage is pretty insane for a low spa unit so i'll put him in the back i do think he's better than arima in terms of dps and stunning so i'll put him right here now for trunks honestly same thing as uh blue devil i don't really know much about him all i really know is that leaderboard units aren't really that good they're not really meta they're just there to be there basically they just reward kaza nah, b tier not 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 too bad they're kind of, these units uh from the raids are honestly going down and they're not really that great yeah that's why i put him there now for madara madara got beat down so bad i really want to put him in c but like like every tier list i'm not gonna do him that bad right i'll put him right behind a kaza for now just because he does have a really wide aoe it's not long but pretty wide so still decent though his spa is a little long for the unit that he is now for all my honestly all my still really good i'll put him at a tier just because the knockback and like massive aoe still puts into factor and i see people still using this unit although there are better like support and utility ones for now like gray but if you're still using all my it's all right all right you're good now we got uh evolve run goku same thing as akaza is kind of over here the damage could be really good though the damage honestly really good i'll put him at a tier um i don't think uh akaza is nearing that i think he's actually better than akaza for now so i'll put him at the back end of a just because he has the big aoe burn and massive damage now we have no more ringoku um he's he's better than these guys i think so i i guess that's a plus uh this this man naruto i think naruto's better than madara so i'll just put him over here because he does have a pretty low spa and decent damage uh his aoe is not as big but um that spa might catch up though so uh, i think he is better madara in terms of damage unless i'm tripping then if i'm tripping then he's supposed to be right here which knowing how 
how hard it is to get this guy just to grind, I'm gonna put him behind Madara. Actually, I'm gonna put him behind Madara. Uh, final decision. Alright, Tadara, just like Madara, kind of dookie. I don't really need him. Uh, nobody really wants this guy. I just want to make a tier list where I just put all like the unneeded units in the area, but I'm trying to make this as fair as possible with the knowledge that I know. So I guess I'll put him in front of Madara because he has does have decent burn, but the AoE is pretty small. Now for Akainu, I think Akainu would be meta if his SPA wasn't as big as it is. So I think he's S tier for now. He is very good for the map, the Magic Town, just because there are elemental units now. So uh, he might be better than all these guys. I'll put him better than uh, Aizen just because, you know, his burn. And he is a hill unit, so that's a plus. Uh, Katakuri, very, very meta still. I'll put him at the top too just because of how meta he is. You know, he's got that slow stun and pretty big AoE too. And you can place four of these guys down. So basically infinite stun support or slow support. Now for Gon, Gon is definitely still meta. The damage on this man is absolutely crazy. And if you get unique on him, which if you already don't know, you get a gold unit or gold Gon, legendary Gon. Get unique on that guy and then evolve him. That's an easy unique Gon. And he's he does like 100,000 plus damage, 200,000. I'm not I'm not quite sure, but it's a ton with full AoE. So yeah, Gon, either way, still really good though. I'll put him below Miriam just because Miriam is generally still more usable. Now, Diavolo, honestly, I hate this man with a passion, but at least he has a move so better than Rengoku. Okiora, I don't think Okiora is, I, I think he's still meta in terms of damage. So um, I'll put him in front of Arima, but these guys are kind of falling off for right now. Though I will give him respect to just leave him on meta for now. Broly, uh, Broly is kind of like a B tier. He's definitely definitely still really good but uh he's kind of fallen off uh i could see still see him at being a tier just because of his full aoe but um people aren't really using him that much and honestly kill darts has replaced him including Gon as well so, rip now we got shanks so i actually haven't been seeing a lot of people playing shanks and even though he has full aoe and he has that nice ability his damage is honestly not like that great when scaling to these other guys that are in meta though you can make an argument that he's still very good for leaderboards and runs that need guns and um basically support so i could see him being meta but for right now purposely and generally people are not using him and i'm not using him because there's other better support units now so uh i'll put him above uh aizen though since he's got that full aoe now for armin if you already don't know armin is a beast an absolute goat an absolute menace he is meta 24 7 all right a million plus damage 0.001 spa infinite range and ability to basically insta kill anything on the map so if you already don't have an arima or armin my bad wrong person get armin it's definitely needed uh white beard uh i think white beard is uh right below all Might just because he does have the knockback, but uh, All Might has that passive knockback and better damage, it, I think. But even if he doesn't have better damage, that passive knockback is still way better than a manual tsunami, which is really annoying, honestly. Uh, Juzo. For right now, honestly, Juzo could be seen as meta because there's a lot of region units in the maps and they're getting really, really tough. So I can see him being a meta, but I'll put him at the top of S tier just because um there are other units that will out damage him. And um bleed, you know, if we're talking about generality, bleed isn't really useful for any other map besides the fact that it does extra damage there's other ones that make up for that so i'll put him at uh, the top of that or maybe below kite but uh the bleed is useful though so i'll put him at uh, kiyosuke kiyosuke is definitely still meta i think he's be uh, meta than all these guys just because you know that extra spa and extra range is pretty nuts plus the fact that he does like what twenty thousand plus damage now with a pretty decently low spa for the type of unit that he is so yeah definitely meta um pito so pito uh like juzo definitely really meta for the new mass right now just because of the bleed but generally not really that great she is a really good boss killer though that's what i will say really good boss killer in terms of just bleeding i don't uh, juzo has the upper hand damage wise i think pito has that just because she has critical damage but the aoe is smaller so i'll put pito below that uh levi really good boss killer nice crit though he is falling off right now i'll put him at a tier aaron honestly fell off really hard it's just a flex unit and it's not that great but i will put him at the back of b tier just because he does do a ton of damage though he costs like a million plus money to even upgrade lulu lelouch definitely meta 24 7 if you have him so definitely get it and he's limited and not limited but a secret so if you get it you're lucky gray gray is meta right now if you already don't have gray i definitely do recommend getting it although his spa is a little high the fact that he could freeze air unit and ground unit is pretty insane and he has like a big sized aoe which gathers a lot of people plus you can place four of these guys down so i could definitely see him being up here somewhere with the other guys just because his ice stun is really useful for the fire elementals as well because they will take extra damage from ice units not suit for right now he's a really Really, really broken damage dealer probably one of the best damage dealer because he does like around like 30,000 plus and that's not even including burn so that's pretty crazy his aoe is a little small though but like i said for many of the other ones burn is really useful for the new map so i'll definitely put him up here maybe behind miriam but gone does do a ton of damage though but but the burn is just really useful right now very useful guild art guild arts is meta 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 all right i'll put him at second place just because that insta guard break kill uh ability is nuts since he breaks all shields in one hit plus Plus, he 
least full AoE with like 50,000 plus damage every 10 seconds, 10 to 9 seconds, which is nuts. It's like a better Broly with guard breaking ability. It's like steroids. And then Sai, honestly, Sai's not really that great. He's like, he's down here with the leaderboard guy, so I'll just put him right here. All right, and finally, we have Lucy for the Mythic. So Lucy, um, although she does turn into a limited though, so that could be, that could be well said. Um, I think Lucy is definitely a really good character, although she doesn't have like consistent damage because she has to summon them and they attack for her. That whole like scheme is definitely really nice though. Like the ability to summon units similar to Lelouch and they fight for you is still really great. Um, I don't know if she is meta. Her damage is pretty insane though, around 60,000 plus. So I could definitely see her being somewhere up here. I'll just put her behind Gon because I think she's still very useful at that point. Definitely a better summon than most others besides Lelouch. So uh, yeah, I could see her being meta. Plus she's limited. So get her, get her while she's at it. Though I don't know how much she costs. So if she costs a lot of money, then she might be a little further down. But I think this is a decent spot for her. And I also forgot to mention that if once you're in later waves, you're, the, the unit that they're fighting will have too much HP and just run into like the summon and they will die. So that's why it gets a little annoying. And now let's do the non-mythic. Honestly, Dio out the front. Actually, no, Bulma at the front because she's still the best money maker. Dio second because of that stun and early defense. I got Rukia coming in second place. Or yeah, second place in terms of DPS and uh, support just because she does freeze. Um, I also have Pain. Pain has a really nice pushback. I'll put Isoka right next to it because the bungee gum slow is really nice. Um, I forgot to rank Erwin as well. So I'll put him at second place just because the buff is still really, really broken. And Blackbeard at the last area. And Sakura there just because she does show the full potential of the unit with that extra 10 to 15% more damage boost. So that's nice. And this is my tier list. Tell me what you guys think. Leave your own tier list in the comments below. Uh, I'll leave the link as well if you want to make your own. And uh, yeah, if I made a mistake or you want to add on, go ahead. But for now, I got to go do homework.